out here. Welcome back everybody to the damn bar. We made it. We survived. We're staying Florida strong. That was one hell of a storm. I gotta say as a, uh, as there's lots of my, uh, lots of my neighborhoods behind me, right behind me flooded, came right up to my neighbor behind me, his front door, as you probably saw in the pre uh, pictures coming into this video as well as lots of tree damage and stuff like that we just recently got our internet service back on which is the last time to come back it took a while to get our power back and luckily we did not lose running water but we were without power for over a day which we were some of the fortunate ones um there's still like my father who's in tampa still to this day and right now what is today is monday and it happened it came through last wednesday so we're coming up on a full week after almost. And he's still without power. And there's still plenty of people that have no power. Some that even lost running water. Like uh, I remember as the storm was coming through, St. Petersburg had to shut down its um, wastewater facilities, the, the two main ones. And uh, they're still under a boil water effect. And a lot of people around there just don't have power and they're still flooded. And like, like I told you about my neighborhood here, it's never happened never happened all the people that's lived here for over 30 years said this never happened so and there's just it's we took a a bad hit and it could have been worse i got slight you know electrical issues here as you can tell my lights ain't on back here because of a burned out circuit but uh that's nothing i mean i got lucky i thought the roof was gonna get ripped off this thing i thought i wouldn't have a damn bar to come back to so got very fortunate there and for that reason I'm going to do a survival chug. We survived, and we're coming together strong as Florida citizens of Florida and the Tampa Bay metropolitan area, the Tampa Bay community, we're coming together strong, and we're getting things, you know, cleaned up as fast as possible. And it's just, it's really great watching neighbors helping neighbors, and it's great. It's a beautiful thing when you see community come together. Granted, there are those knuckleheads, especially when it comes to gasoline. You know, they want to get out there and fight over gas. And we went days, and it was pretty chaotic at those gas stations, let me tell you. Pretty chaotic. And, oh my gosh, it was bad. I, I was like, I'll run out of gas before I go sit in those lines and then go through all the fights and stuff they were doing there. It's like, that was, I, I didn't want to even witness that. I'd rather see be in the neighborhoods and seeing the people helping neighbors out, helping family out, stuff like that. Um, so it's like you can see these things really bring out the worst and the best in all of us. And I'm just really impressed at how fast all the, the electric companies and the, the service companies and all that and the tree workers have been getting out there and responding to this so fast. I, I did not expect to have my power back even yet. I thought it was gonna be a week without power, I thought. I was expecting that. I was prepared for that. And they got it back really quick. So 
and I used to do this. I used to do tree work for 20 years. You know, I was out there cutting. I used to be out there cutting down trees, and now I've got to change my profession. But man, I know what they're going through. So they're, they they got their hands full seven days a week. So yeah. Anyways, here's to surviving through Hurricane Milton 2024. Hopefully, we don't ever have to deal with something like that again for ever. And but you know, we know it's Florida; it's going to happen again. But uh, here's to surviving that. And here's to stay in Florida strong. Salute. Twenty-four ounces of beer, and I don't know how many seconds that was. <laughs> oh, yeehaw! So that was for everybody that's still going through it, and for all those that have survived, for those that have lost their lives. And luckily, from what I've been hearing, the death toll is still actually fairly low. You know, and hopefully, there's not another one coming up behind it like we've been hearing, but we'll see. Anyways. I hope you all enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed drinking it. If so, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my uh, reviews and my chug challenges and stuff like that and my uh, blind taste challenges, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free. And I hope to see you all here at the damn bar for the next one. Until next time, salute and happy days.